you said on there that someone paid you to take a shit. Oh, three hundred pound, but I was broke at the time. I was like, I am rich. <laughs> and you're gonna be doing yeah, it anyway. This is like when I first yeah. started, yeah. And the, you know, like the the one thing he said, like I could have done better, was to show him my. D A lot of people on OnlyFans, they, we, we've had quite a few OnlyFans creators on here. We've had Belle Delphine, we've had um, Lauren Alexis. They talk about um, this percentile thing, like being in the top percent of something. How does that work? What does that mean? Is it literally what it says on the tin? Like you are in... So yeah. what, what are you... What are you your... 0.01%, which is the nice. same they'd be in because that's the highest wow. you go. Nice. So yes, yeah, it's just like OnlyFans have made this very clever marketing technique in-house because you know how competitive people can be. Mm. What not a better way to make people work harder than to know how shit you are or how well you're doing? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that only like, it's so bad for your mental health though because as soon as that drops or goes higher, no, yeah, it goes higher so that means you're getting worse yeah. Yeah. or less right. income. You know, you think, oh my God, I have to get back into it. I need to work harder, do better. And then not only that, you got social media and everyone's like, oh, I'm this percentage. Look how great I'm getting. So you're, it's, it's bad for your mental health. It's a little bit like YouTube videos as well. Do you, you do YouTube content as well? Yeah. So it's, it's like when you upload and it compares your upload to like the last 10 uploads. Yeah, one out of 10. And yeah. Stuff like that. But it's even worse though, isn't it? Because it's like saying, yeah. last week you're in the top 0.1. Yeah. Now you're shitter than you were <laughs> yeah, last week. That is... fat. <laughs> <laughs> does, does, that, does it fluctuate quite a lot then? Um, it, it's not hourly or anything like that, but you know, it basically when you're in the lower percentages, you earn less money, so it's more fluctuatable. Whereas, like the lower, you, the higher you climb, the, the lower the percentage. You know, zero point zero one. Yeah. There's such a big difference in each 0.01 percent whereas to get to the top one percent you need to make 10 grand a month ish wow and then you've got that's like two three four five you know whereas in the percentage i'm in the difference is 30 grand per 0.01 even like it's mad is yeah. there is there a leaderboard where you can go on and see like who's who's top who's number one two three no you only get that teeny tiny percentage it's quite specific but there's hundreds and hundreds of people in each tiny tiny percentage yeah Hmm. Number one, when we had Belle on um, a while back, she said that number one was, or that she thought number one was uh, the Dis a Disney that star, um, ginger haired. Where she was like a pro Bella Thorne. Yes. Yeah. Is that still? Do you know if that's still the case? Um, I'm not sure because there are loads of people that have come on since, aren't there? Um, oh, I'm trying to think. There's someone else who hangs around with David Dobrik that went on it. I think I know who you mean. Yeah, yeah. she joined, and I think she'd be mental. And I think Cardi B's got on OnlyFans, you know, people. Or who's the one? Gucci flip flops. Probably Wiz like, Khalifa. No, you know the. <laughs> oh, catch yeah. me outside, how about that? Oh, she yeah. put a screenshot on. She's at 50 million yeah. so Whoa. far. So, you Lil know. Be no, what's her name? Li <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know who you mean. I can't remember her name. What's her name? Yeah, I know who you mean. Catch me outside, like, how, how about, about that? that? But she yeah. Yeah. sings the song like Gucci flip flops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where, how many can I I don't know if you can answer this or not yeah. how many people are subscribed to your OnlyFans uh, right now like 10,000 whoa and they yeah. pay uh, baseline is $15 a month that's the that's the lowest level yeah right, just get a calculator up there oh so. no that is amazing <laughs> but I rarely do sales or anything like that and then obviously like you can um, pay for videos when you're in pay okay. for lots of things when you're in <clears throat> so you can sell extras Mm -hmm. Talk us through the extras. You can so requests. You, people can request stuff. Yeah, like request con like specific content, like personalized content, like write my name on your dick's love. All right. Is that is that a common? What what's it? Give us some examples of common requests that you would get. It's creating. Really, really. Yeah. Are you honest, or are you do you be nice to them because they've paid? Um. No. Like you know, you'll get the people with really, really tiny dicks, and they know they've got a small. Dick and they want you to humiliate them. So in that instance, you would mm. be really mean. But we don't if I think someone's average and you just be like, yeah, it's average, it's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest. Oh, so they're not getting a score out of 10 or something. It's... Yeah, they do. So you'll be like, you know, it's like an oh. average six and a half. How, how do you know if someone has got a small one and they want you to humiliate them? Yeah. Like, if I sent one in and I'm like, I'm quite proud of that, and you go, yeah. that is absolutely pathetic. Oh, you wouldn't. You, well, Not unless they, they, they would kind of require, you would know if they want humiliation. I'm okay. not just going to go there, like, ruining every bloody 18-year-old, <laughs> you know, like, who just wants validation. Like, right. I don't, you know, like, I'm not going to do that, but. Wow. So, so there's ratings, there's write the name on the, on the, what else is there? Beat content, 
any specific kind of content, you know, like have a backlog of like different videos. So if anyone goes like, I want to see you get run by a big black guy. I'm like, oh, okay, I have that. Oh, so you can just, you can just sell pr- well, like money for old rope, really. Yeah. Like I've got scenes from, you know, when I started three, three years ago to like now that I just use the time. I was like, I want to see you get run by Johnny Sins. I'm like, okay. <laughs> we are going to talk about him in a, in a, in a little bit, but yeah. Robbie, have you, you've got a question about the differences in, in platforms, haven't you? So what's better financially? Is it doing OnlyFans stuff or is it traditional sites like Harbex, Hamster, RedTube, Brazzers, X Videos, U Porn, Spank, Doctuber, Louder, Faster, Obstitude? Yeah, we get it, Robbie. Yeah. 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 Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, You're just bringing them off the top of your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely OnlyFans because you own the rights to that content. Like, if you do a scene, for example, like Fake Taxi, I think they are like standard rates £500 to get like raw by some old geezer on the back of a taxi. No, thank 500, you. 500, 500 quid? Yeah. I think, like, even you have to lick his bottle, like, nah, I'm Oh, right. come on. For 500 quid? Yeah. That's what, like, when, when they first approached me, that was it. Whereas, you know, as I said, I, or, I own the rights and the loyalties to all of my content. So I still sell in my, like, 21 year old me and I still make so much money on it even though it's recycled because people still want to see mm. it because they know me now but they don't know what I was like three years ago right so that's where the money's at because you own that content yeah um so like licensing it or giving it away but I know you can upload free content like I have a couple of videos on Pornhub for free but that's not to make money like you can watch that for free it's only to like entice people to be like oh I want to see more so you you went through some of the uh, the common requests. Can you tell us? Uh, I watched you do another podcast with yeah. with Grace, and yeah. she you said on there that someone paid you to take a shit. Oh, three hundred pound! But I was broke at the time. I was like, I am rich. <laughs> and you're going to be doing yeah, it anyway. This is like when I first started, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the, you know, like the the one thing he said, like I could have done better, was to show him my dirty bum. Oh, it's good to get feedback in the workplace. Though. <laughs> <laughs> did he your appraisal? <laughs> yeah. I also did one custom that I had to get ripped by a ghost. What? How did you, how did you find a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of have to pretend like, no, stop it. <laughs> oh, so nothing's, nothing's happening there. No, nothing's happening. You're just oh. full on pretending that you're did getting you, ripped by a ghost. Did you think she got ripped by a real ghost? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, if you're selling stuff that's not what it says on the tin, they're entitled for a refund. <laughs> Yeah, that's sorry. all I'm saying. That's all. I, there was a woman who went on this morning who said that she was in a uh, relationship with a ghost, but they broke up because she came back early from us <laughs> and the ghost was with another ghost. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it was on this morning. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was mad. <laughs>